Hi there guys, hope everyone's keeping well. Today, this is a little bit different from the normal board game reviews I do. This is, as you can see, The Goonies Never Say Die. Um, I was going through Amazon the other day, just having a look, see what was see what was on offer. I always check there to sort of have a look and see if any of the Hero Quest games or expansions have dropped down in price. And I happened across this. And I've always been a Goonies fan. Loved the Goonies when I was a kid. Um, really good, fun film. And I had a little look at the description and I thought, oh, that looks quite a fun game. I had a look on YouTube at a few videos of it, people playing it. And I thought, yeah, I like, like the look of that. So I picked it up and it turned up last night. And I've only just unboxed it. So I just thought I'd have a little little look at the components because it is really really nice game really well made beautiful components and bits and bobs so let's just have a look so as you can see there's your four main characters and then if we come back now this is the board so like the caves that are under under the goondocks where the Goonies go on their adventures. Um, let's have a little close look. Really nice artwork on the boards. I mean, you've actually got the little bones. The water pouring down the side of the rocks there. What else have we got? Let's have a look. Got some crystals, some little torches. Um, it's, like, like I said, I've only literally just unboxed it and opened it up just to have a look, but the components are really nice. I mean, I've got them out here now, so I might as well have a look at the little figures, the miniatures. So you've got the four main kids. Excuse my hand, getting in the way there. So you've got Mouth. Uh, Mikey, Data, and Chunk. And then you've got my favourite, Sloth, who is a playable character as well. And then at the back here, you've got the Fratellis, the bad guys. You've got One-Eyed Willy, who is a bad guy you can face in the game. And I remember this was a deleted scene, never made it into the final, into the final movie, but there was supposed to be like a giant squid octopus scene that was cut out of it for some reason. But this is also a bad guy you can play, use in the game. Uh, but like I said, these models are really nice. Nice little sculpts. You got Chunk there, wearing his pirate hat. And then let's have a little look at the character cards because the artwork in this is really nice as well. So you've got Mikey, there's Mouth, and we've got Chunk, Data, with his boxing glove, <laughs> and then Sloth, hey you guys, and then we got the bad guys, we got the Fratellis, who you have to face in some of the, um, some of your missions. Then we've got Giant Octopus, and there's One-Eyed Willy. As I said, the artwork, artwork is really nice in this game. Love how they've done the artwork. And then we've got, I'm not going to go through all the cards, but you've got, um, they call it the GM, but in this it's for, GM is Goondocks Master. Because obviously it's in the goondocks is where they live. So this is like the um, the cards that the GM can use to try and hinder the kids as they're going on their, on their quest. These are different cards you can play. I mean, I haven't been through them all. I've only had a quick look. But there's lots of, lots of different cards there. And then there's a whole stack of items... And then you've got treasure cards. You've got riddle cards, which I I haven't been through all of it yet. Peril cards. 
and that which you can also use in the game. And the dice are really nice as well. If I show you one of the character cards, this bit I have sort of read a little bit about in the rules, but everyone, um, you have three sets of dice. So like data strength, he's not very strong. So he only uses these six sided dice, which aren't the best in the game. They're pretty, see like I've just rolled nothing. But then you upgrade to the next best, which is an eight sided dice. Mm, not so bad. And then the best dice is the, I think are these 10 sided or 12 sided dice? They look like 12 sided to me. These are the best dice in the game. So if you use these ones, I'll just drop one on the floor and throw the other one. Oh, that was a terrible roll. There you go. So yeah, so um, the guy, dice are really nice. They're um, made to look like gemstones, which I really like. That's a nice touch. And another one of my favourite components that I really like the look of is the GM screen. I'll show you the side that the master GM master uses at the moment. It's got all the rules on there for like the monsters you face, the Goonies rounds, how play works, and then the GM rounds, what happens, um, token references for the different tokens that are on the board, which is really nice. And if you notice on top, it's got the musical notes that they have to play on the organ to get through before they fall to their peril. But then if we turn it round, so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So on the side that is facing the players on the board, it is the map that they use to um, find the treasure which is really nice. The artwork is brilliant. I really like that. That's a nice touch. And you've also got lots of tokens that come with it. I haven't, haven't even unpunched these yet. So you've got like different room tiles that you can place on the board. Loads of tokens. Wish tokens. These are, I believe you can use these in the game if you look at like data starts with three wishes wish tokens so you can use these to like block an attack from a monster or upgrade one of your dice if you spend a token for your strength instead of using one two red dice you can use one red dice and upgrade to one blue dice so that's what that's for but like i said i haven't read the rules properly i'm only going by what i've picked up on the YouTube videos that I've been playing. Oh, I just noticed. There's the organ they play to open the trap door. But these are beautiful, then it's double sided as well. So on the other side of that, you've got the wishing well, where Mav takes back his coin in the film. And then you've got these little passageways, which if you look on the board, so you place one of these passageways between the rooms here to sort of show which rooms are linked to which and that would guide you through guide you through the caverns you've got this massive one here which is a huge treasure hoard and if we flip it over that is part of the water area with the pirate ship one-eyed willy ship so i presume that would be the board tile you use for the giant squid but the Artwork is really nice. And then we got one more. You've also got, which I haven't shown you, is the bad guys you face. You've got these merfolk warriors. And they're double-sided. And then if I turn it around the other way, you've got skeleton bombardiers, bat swarms. More bat swarms up there. Um... Just notice down here, you've got pirate ghosts. So yeah, I mean, like I said, the artwork and the quality of this game is really, really nice. I'm really, really impressed with it and I can't wait to actually get it out on the table and play it with my kids because hopefully they'll enjoy it. Um, 
so there you go this is like i said this is just a little little review um i need to go through the rules properly just to make sure i understand everything but it seems to be a pretty straightforward game to play and it looks like a lot of fun and i've already seen that there's actually an expansion where you can get the free teenagers as well so you can actually play them in the game because unfortunately in this in this base game they're just like a card um so they sort of like assist you with dice rolls and that but actually in the expansion you can actually get their models and their character cards and you can actually play them in the game properly so i'm going to be picking that up in the near future as well um so yeah there you go guys um Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I, like I said, I'm really looking forward to playing this. So thank you very much for watching. And you all take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.